Wonderful. Bezat Hashem. Hashem helped us. We're in the new. We're, we're, we're beyond the place. So, you know, so we're in the new place. We're beyond the place. Emuna Center. Oh Hashem. Thanking Hashem on His kindness. And all of the friends that are helping and are with us and supporting and helping from Jerusalem and to Jerusalem. Thank God for all. Likutei Moran, Torah Lamed Chet, Part Hey. We talked about that simple faith that a person have, that he realized that Hashem Barach is the source of his life, source of his being, and that Hashem gives him power to do everything. And he is not forgetting that even while he's talking to other people. Just he uplift the power of speech to his roots means that he remembers that every word that he's saying are words of Hashem. It's Hashem talking through me, I remember that. And you don't need to be righteous that Hashem is going to talk through you. The donkey was talking to Bil'am and it was words of Hashem it barach to Bil'am and Bil'am for sure weren't worthy that Hashem going to talk to him and the donkey for sure is not a vessel that Hashem going to talk through it but Hashem is so humble, Moshe Rabbeinu learned his humility from Hashem. Hashem doesn't care. Hashem doesn't care. We need to try to work on ourselves to be worthy, to be pure, to be clean. That, uh, to try to respect Hashem, to honor Hashem, to let Hashem have His honor. But Hashem, He doesn't look on those nonsense. He doesn't care. He loves you so much that, where are you? I'm coming, wherever you are. In the most contaminated places, in the lowest places of them all, in the places that mamash, no one wants to look at those places. Hashem, the eyes of Hashem, Hashem HaMishotetot B'chol Haaretz. They're wandering and looking on all of the land, on the most lowest, 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 darkest, most contaminated places in the world. And Hashem is there, and Hashem loves you, and Hashem cares about you, and Hashem is going to send you the signs and the messages, and everything that you require to complete your purpose in life, to achieve your goal. And what's the goal? Like the Zohar Kadosh is saying, to know him and to recognize him. To recognize that it's him, that that there is nothing except of him. It's easy to see Hashem in other faces. Okay, wow, he was saying to me things and it was Hashem. But also when you talk, it's Hashem. We need to believe in ourselves so much that Hashem is with me, Hashem is with me, Hashem is inside of me, Hashem is the source of my life, Hashem is my chiyut, He gives me the energy, gives me the wisdom, give also the failures, also the downs, everything. Hashem was holding me back, Hashem was failing me because He wanted me to wake up, to understand some points, to, to, to learn some humility, to, to work on my midot and that I'm going to be able to to find him and to understand him and to and to serve him properly like that like that like that it's supposed to be in an honorable way but it's all for us it's all for us to help us to work on ourselves but Hashem is there already so when a person is in that place that he remembers Hashem it barach so then immediately he starts to talk to Hashem immediately that's what he's doing that's the result if you see a person that pray so it means that he's connected to Hashem. If a person he can be from religious, peot, zakan, kippah, tzitziot, whatever, and he's not praying, he's not a bal tefillah, he's very far from Hashem. He can be very religious, he can keep a lot of mitzvot, mitzvot, but still he's very, very far from the Creator. He doesn't have faith. He's not connected with with faith to Hashem Barach. That is something that is so important to give us powers and, and, and to encourage ourselves that we that we are going to be happy with our own success. Because a lot of times people are falling to blame themselves and to chase themselves on their failures, on their lackings. They see, oh, it's very hard for me to wake up in the morning. It's very hard for me to stench monaisa like I should. I don't even understand the words. 
and I have more things that I'm not able to complete and to achieve and chatzot and mikveh and stuff that can be very hard for the person to get used to, to that kind of work. But still look what Hashem gave us. Faith you do have. And faith that's how you connect yourself to Hashem. So you are very well connected. When a person has faith, so it means that he's got the main, main connection, main wire, everything is working. You have faith. כל מצוותיך אמונה, צדיק באמונתו יחיה. All of the mitzvot, all of the obligations, they're all connected through that mitzvah obligation of faith. If you don't believe, you don't have nothing. You can put tefillin, a Christian person can take tefillin, can go and buy from a Jewish store tefillin to put it around his arm, on his head, whatever. Karaim can take tefillin and put it on the wall. Muslims can take and throw them to the garbage, I don't know what, and, and, and nothing going to come out from it. Not if you put it and not if you threw it away. Nothing, it doesn't work, it doesn't count as nothing. When you don't have those chains of faith that are connecting you to the tradition and to the righteous people and that you yourself, you love Hashem, you love that Torah and you feel connected and you want to do it out of love. And Hashem Yitbarach has got that strong complaint that we always have to wake ourselves up to see. Al asher lo avadetem oti besimcha, that you were serving me but not with joy, not with happiness. So even a person can be a Jew and hold filin on his head from sunrise to sunset and not to take them off for a moment and always to think about that filin. And if he doesn't do it out of joy it means he's not happy, he doesn't realize that Hashem Ibach is so kind. Hashem Ibach is helping me so much. So it doesn't worth it. It doesn't connect you to Hashem, it doesn't upgrade you from your last level to the next one. It doesn't bring you up, it doesn't purify you, it doesn't cleanse you, it doesn't bring you closer to Hashem and closer and closer to Hashem. So us that we can find ourselves so low in so many aspects, still we can find ourselves that in the main thing we do hold very, very well, that we do believe in Hashem Barach. And that's how Hashem reveals His kindness. When Hashem is hiding Himself from Am Yisrael, in that day I'm going to hide my, hide my face, Hashem is saying, and, 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 and they're going to look for something to eat. <laughs> you lose Hashem. Immediately you try to eat something, you have to grab something to eat. <laughs> you forgot Hashem. Why? Well, you don't have your chiyut, you cannot feel alive from the connection with Hashem in Barach. Immediately you need to eat something, you need to sleep, you have to rest, you have to have a house, you have to have a place, you have to have to, to buy new clothes, huh? because you don't have Hashem in Barach with you. But when you have Hashem, you have everything. Hashem, He is the source of life. So when you're connected to Him, means you have faith, you believe in Him, but when you, ha you see the uh, illuminating face of Hashem it Barach, Harat Panim, so then, you, like Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe was talking to Hashem face to face, he saw the face of Hashem it Barach, so when he saw the face of Hashem it Barach, he could be 40 days and 40 nights without eating, without drinking. You don't need nothing. Rab Nachman in Breslev said, I have such wisdoms that I can teach you that you can live with those wisdoms without eating and drinking. And that's what Rabbeinu was doing himself. Rabbeinu said on the path to Eretz Israel, on the journey to Eretz Israel, he was on a boat. Rabbeinu was on a boat. He was on a boat. <laughs> and he was going to Eretz Israel. And he had so many troubles, so many problems. And that he, he, it was so hard for him to hold in his happiness that he said, I couldn't find chiyut, life, from nothing else, that I had to eat something. But for days he wasn't thinking about food at all. All of his journey he wasn't thinking about food. Just when it was too much for him, so he had to take something. Means that when you have faith, you have Hashem. And we have faith. We have faith. We have strong faith. We have very solid faith. We have very strong faith. And the evidence for that, it's the huge distance that we crossed until today. And everyone can check himself. Everyone. As for sure, we can see it over here. We're sitting in the Amunah Center, a very nice place in Jerusalem, in Rechavia, and we're all 13 people here sitting and enjoying life. It's a 13 Midot Shel Chesed. It's, it's all kindness of Hashem. We can see the results of, of, our, of our will. 
but also people that are not holding in this place and still people that can look at their own lives and to see that Hashem Yidvach helped me so much and Hashem Yidvach he gave me a hand and Hashem Yidvach was supporting me and Hashem gave me that power to hold on and not to answer to my wife and not to argue and to go to the another Yidbodadut and when I had that difficulty with Parnassah, with money issues so I went again to the field and I was talking to Hashem on that and I've been in Uman and I said one Sikun Aklali and I prayed Shachrit and I put my tefillin whatever if you cross that distance with faith if you walked with Hashem Barach, like that amazing story from the Gemara, the Gemara is telling on a person that went to heaven after 120 and he asked Hashem Barach, he was looking behind on, on his journey, on his life and he said, how can it be that in, my, in the happiest days of my life I can see two uh, uh, footprint behind, behind my back. It was me walking and you were walking with me. But in the most, the hardest days of my life I can see only one footprint. How can it be? Only me. Why you left me in those hard days? He asked Hashem. So Hashem answered to him, in the hard days those footprints that you see, Marks, are mine. I was carrying you on my arms. It wasn't you walking alone. You were not able to walk at all. I was carrying you. I was taking you all of the way. So even in the hardest days, if you still connect yourself to Hashem Bach somehow, it's actually, if you're going to observe, it's Hashem Itbarach's kindness to let you believe in Him. Because Hashem Itbarach is saying to Am Yisrael that in that day I'm going to plaster your eyes that you will not going to be able to see. When Hashem hides His face, hiding inside of hiding, you cannot see Hashem. He hides the fact that He exists from you and He takes away the will from you even to search after Him, to look for Him. So you... You, there's no chance to see. He's hiding himself and then he's hiding the fact that he's hiding. You will never going to meet him. That's it. And that's only one astara shebetoch astara. That's only one time that he's hiding, he's hiding. That's the second time. That's it. What's going on if Hashem Bach is hiding himself inside of hiding's room, inside of room, inside of rooms and you can never find him. So if Hashem Barach revealed himself to us, it means that he chosen us. It means that He chose you, and not because of your righteousness, just because of His kindness. And if Hashem Yidbarach is so kind to choose even a person like me, and everyone is pointing himself now, just look at your own eyes and see how low you are, where you came from, how you could hurt Hashem and insult Hashem and disrespect Hashem. So many times couldn't even think about it and couldn't care less about Him. And on and on and more and more and more. And then... Hashem Yidbarach chose you, took you out of Egypt and brought you to the Holy Land and gave you faith, the land of faith. He connected you to Him with the, with the main connection. And the main connection is faith. And the main way that you're going to see that the person have faith and maybe even the only way, it's when he's praying. And when you're not praying, you don't believe. If you have a situation in your life and you think about solutions, that's, uh, uh, that's kfira. It means you're far from Hashem. Only when you lift your eyes to Hashem, first thing, first thing, Hashem, Hashem help me, Hashem ta'azor, Hashem give me a hand, Hashem what I'm going to do. Even thinking, even consulting with Hashem, doing it Buddha Duyot, and thinking hard, brainstorming with Hashem in Barak in the field, thinking, thinking hard. When you're doing that, it means you have faith. When you're just religious, it means you're religious. Like Av Shalom said once, a Baal Tshuva is a person that is doing Tshuva, it's not a person with a kippa. This is a Baal Kippa, he owns a kippa. Baal Zakan, he owns a beard, you have a beard. It's not a Baal Tshuva to be religious. A Baal Tshuva it's to do Tshuva, it's to regret, it's to confess, it's to pray, that's a Baal Tshuva. That you do Tshuva, that you come back to Hashem and you ask Hashem to come back to you. That's a Baal Tshuva. A believer is someone that walks with Hashem, it's not a religious person. It's a person that Hashem in Barach, it's the main part of his life, it's the main part of his living. And he's walking with Hashem, and he's talking with Hashem, and he's asking from Hashem, and he doesn't have nothing else in his life except, where is Hashem? How can I please Hashem? How can I make Hashem happy? We're asking what? What Hashem can we do for you? 
What can I do for you, Hashem? What else can I do for Hashem? How am I going to help other people to see Hashem? The children of Hashem. How am I going to reconnect? How am I going to create peace between the children and the Father in Heaven? How am I going to make them to love each other again, to count on each other, to love each other? You need to convince Hashem in that and you need to convince the children on it again and to talk to everyone and to make peace and to make peace and to bring down the real peace, the Shalom Emet, Shalom Amiti, to, to be with us. So first of all, a person needs to have peace with himself. And for that you need to have faith, to understand Hashem, He loves me. If you think, Has Shalom, Hashem hates you, you, you can never serve, you can never commit yourself to, to that kind of, of, of a leader, of a boss, of a king, a ruler. No one can, can serve Him out of love forever. Always in all kinds of kingships, in all kinds of 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 of, of groups, of uh, armies. I don't know what. If the leader was cruel, someone betrayed him in the end. The soldiers they couldn't they couldn't continue, couldn't follow him till the till the end. Only when you're committed out of love, you will never gonna give up, and you're ready to sacrifice yourself, and you're ready to give, and you you to die for you. It's not a big deal. If, if really you, you love your leader, you love your boss, you love your, the, your, the, your, love your king, all of your life's meaning is, is to serve him, it's to help him, it's to give him a hand. So you couldn't care less about yourself you know, to, to live, to die, it's all worthy for, for the king. So you see how much power you have in that when you serve out of love. When you nullify yourself to Hashem Bach out of love and not out of fear. Fear will not last. Fear will not gonna last forever. Fear is something temporary. In the end you realize that there was nothing to be afraid of because it was all Hashem. Even fear in His root is not real. It's part of the creation. Because what are you afraid of? If it's all Hashem, real righteous people, they were not afraid to die. Well, after Tisha B'Av we all read the, some Midrashim and we, we, we read some keynote and the tzaddikim, they, they don't care if they're going to leave, they're not going to leave, Rabban Gamliel, Rabbi Rabbi Ishmael, Yirmiyahu Anavi, they don't care. All of us are Aserat Arugia Malchut and more tzaddikim to all of the generation, they don't care. What's the difference, Rabbi said, what's the difference between here to the world to come? It's a Dalet Amot, it's a, like a door, you have a door that separates. You lived with Hashem, you're going to live with Hashem in the next floor, what's the, what's, what's the big deal? If you really hold in faith, you don't care. You're with Hashem. You're going to be with Hashem today, you're going to be with Hashem tomorrow, you're going to be with... There's nothing to be afraid of when you have faith. When you don't have faith, so you're afraid of the unknown. Okay, what's going to be? <laughs> what can be? It's, if it's Hashem, Hashem. Hashem going to hug you, Hashem going to kiss you, Hashem going uh, to pet you, Hashem going to tell you how much He missed you, Hashem. Hashem is a source of kindness. Hashem is a source of good. The good is going to reveal itself to you, going to, going to cover you, going to wrap you, going to, going to hug you, going to, going to heal you from all of your sadnesses, from all of your lack of knowledge, lack of understanding. Hashem is just going to, going to be there with you 100%. That's it. That, that's what it can be. So for each and every one of us, that's our job. First of all, to believe, and second, to help others to believe in the Shem Yitbarach again and again and again. That's it. That's our purpose. That's our goal. And thank God we're thanking Hashem, Mamash, on His loving kindness. It's amazing. It's amazing. Think, think what we achieved, and 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 know that it's only the beginning. Each and every one of us is going to have the merit to help and to contribute and, and to support and, 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 and to reach out to others. Even Moshe Rabbeinu, he didn't believe in himself. Hashem is saying to Moshe, go take my people out from Egypt. Moshe is arguing with him seven days and seven nights. No way, Moshe, no way, no way. Rolam told him, but listen, I." I want you to do it, it's your job. He said, no way, I'm the last person that's able to do that. And he had claims, he had reasons, he had um, answers to tell Hashem Barach why he's not the right one to do it. Go take Aaron, my elder brother, he's wiser than me, he's got more experience, look at me, I'm not able, I cannot talk, I cannot walk, I, I don't know how to break dance, I don't know nothing. I... 
I'm not able to do all of those things that required in Egypt. I'm not a, a wizard, I'm not a mechashef, I'm not strong, I'm not a Talmid Chacham. He was Talmid Chacham, he was a shepherd, he was with his goats all day long for, for 60 years, 50 years in the desert. He was a shepherd, Moshe Rabbeinu. The Torah had been given to a person that didn't know how to learn Torah. There was no Torah, how we can learn Torah. There was no Torah. He wasn't a Talmid Chacham when he received the Torah. He was a strong believer. I told you that the tradition, what it's written in, in Pirkei Avot, that Moshe Kibel Torah Misinai, Um Sarali Yehoshua, that's the Torah. The Torah, the wisdom of the Torah, been given to us in a tradition. But the faith is something that the person reveals inside of himself. Moshe Rabbeinu didn't get the, the faith in the tradition. Rabbi Nachman Ibrahim didn't get the faith as a tradition. The Ariya Kadosh didn't get the faith as a tradition. No one passed him his faith. The faith, it's kifum madim shayr belibe. It's as much as you find inside of yourself. Baal Shem Tov, he found Hashem in the fields. He was five years old and he went to search for Hashem and he found Him. Because Hashem is close to everyone, to everyone that calls Him with truth. So we need to help the people, not with the, with the, with the Torah, to, to pass the Torah from, for the next generation. That's not our purpose. It's also something that we can teach, we can learn Torah together, it's uh, okay, all very nice. But the main thing that we're helping people is to find their own private connection to Hashem in Barak, to the Creator, from their own hearts. You're going to find Hashem from inside. No one's going to hand you Hashem, no one is able to serve Hashem to you, Hashem is too big. The Torah is a certain creation that Hashem created. He created the Torah. It's, it's, it's something. You can write it down. Even if it's going to take years, if it's going to take eternity, it's something. It's Hashem, Hashem made it. Faith, it's Hashem Himself. Faith, it's Hashem. The Torah, it's Hashem's something. It's Hashem's wisdom. Faith, it's Hashem Himself that is exist. It's Hashem's being. No one can pass it, no one can hand it. Just need to open up ourselves to feel it. That's what we're trying to do, to open that, that gate in the hearts of people. That everyone going to know that Hashem is with them already. That Hashem is with you now, in the dungeons, in the darkest places of them all, in those dark small flats, apartments in the Bronx, in California, in the Vilot, <laughs> in the swimming pools. It doesn't matter where you are, you can very easily forget Hashem and it doesn't matter where you are, you can very easily connect yourself, reconnect yourself to Hashem. So, it all depends on the will. And we're here. You're all welcome to connect yourselves through us, to the Muna channel, to Hashem Thank you very much.